This is Mark from RetiredLures.com. I'm going to show you some of the strange fishing lures you can run across when you start collecting and looking for old fishing tackle. First one I'm showing you is actually from about 1919, I believe is when it was patented. It's called the Liars Convertible Minnow. The strange thing about this is the way it's rigged right now, it's a diving lure. But actually you pull off this little pin off the top and pull the hook off, put the pin on the bottom and you can change your hooks around. And basically the hook will be on this side then. And then now you have a surface lure so it can be used two different ways. Another one that you can run across is lures that are set up to actually be weedless lures. This is one here that the hook stays inside the lure. And when the fish bites it pushes it shut and pushes it so the hook comes out and that, therefore you can hook in the lure or hook the fish and it stays weedless while you're fishing it. So it kind of shows a little bit more. Here's a metal one that shows kind of the same thing. The fish bites, it pushes it in, allowing the hooks to come out. A couple other strange things you could run across is here's a wood lure with glass eyes. But what you what's unique about this one is it actually has real frog skin stretched over the lure to give it a unique color. Speaking of colors, this is an old lure from the early 1920s. Basically it has a screw on top of it. If you, green and white isn't working for you that day, you can take that screw out and put red in, yellow in, or another color that you want. Another unique color for a fishing lure. Here's one by the Creek Chub Bait Company, made right after World War II. And it's got dot 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 dash on it, which means victory. And that was used to celebrate the victory in the war. Plastic one to show you, another weedless one. So this one actually uses a magnet. It's actually magnetized. And this strip is actually magnetized and it'll stay over the hooks to keep them weedless. And one more weedless lure that you could come across called the safety lure. Actually this one here, the hooks actually fit inside the lure. And you can put it in your pocket and go to the lake and go fishing. When you're ready to fish, you just push this pin in and the hooks will actually come out. And then you're ready to fish with it. Some of the weedless ones actually could shoot the hook out of the lure. This one would actually sit inside the fishing lure, cocks inside. And when the fish bites, it pushes that plastic piece in and the hook shoots out into the fish. It's called the trigger fish. Another odd plastic lure. There's actually kind of like a corkscrew inside the lure. The water goes in the mouth and it spins the corkscrew and actually makes the tail flop back and forth. Another one that can have a strange action is the blim squeaking mouse. Actually when it's pulled through the water Makes a squeaky noise, of course, that attracts the big bass. Since they're biting on mice, why not try gold fishing with a little duck? And if they're biting ducks, why won't they bite a shmoo? This was actually one made after uh, the shmoo from the Little Abner cartoons. And it's a fairly early fishing lure. Everybody knows about plastic lures. And they know about old lures with glass eyes. Here's an example of one of the very first plastic lures. And it actually has glass eyes in it. So sometimes you can see something odd like that. Here's a lure called the High Yo Activated Lure. It's supposed to be atomic powered. I don't know how many people would use it or, or have dry ice with it, but you actually put dry ice inside the fishing lure. And it actually activates in the water and bubbles will come through the tail, which will propel it through the water. Like I said, I don't know how many fishermen actually carry dry ice with them. Another strange one that I don't see how it would work very well, but it's uh, called the pretzel lure, or also called the sidewinder. You actually have a rubber band inside the fishing lure, and you, you tighten it, twist it around, and there's actually little sockets on the side where a pretzel sits in. It sets in both sides, two little pretzel sticks. The pretzel will dissolve in the water. After it dissolves, 
that'll break the, the rubber bands will actually start unwinding and cause some action in the lure. It states in the pamphlet inside of it, it takes about four minutes to activate it. I don't know how many people would cast it out, let it sit there for four minutes before it actually spins and then you got to rewind it again and you use another pretzel. Another strange one called the Lucky Bunny Lure. Hey, if you want good luck fishing, why not fish with a rabbit's foot? Kind of ingenious lure here called the Smoothie. It's not only a fishing lure, but it also doubles as a beer bottle opener. If you're going fishing, why not fish with two minnows instead of one? You're more likely to catch the big fish if you got two minnows out there that you're trolling in. Or you can actually use a bug and bass lure, which is actually a fish chasing a bug, which will attract the fish. There's a lot of mechanical lures out there. Here's one that has a spinner in the front. When the spinner goes, the mouth opens and closes. It's supposed to look like it's chasing a bug and that'll attract the fish. That's that's called a... I can't even think what the lure's name is. I forgot on that one. I think it's chase a bug lure or something like that. Motorola is known for the telephones and things like that, but back in the 70s they actually made a fishing lure that had a battery that goes inside of it and actually powers up the LED lights. Here's a strange lure probably from the 1980s. You cast it out, the line gets pulled, goes back in, and the frog legs kick, attracting the big ones. There's a lot of frog lures that are mechanical. Here's another example of one. When it's pulled through the water, the propeller spins, actually it makes the legs kick. Here's a rather unique lure that you could run into called the Prez. It actually looks like uh, it's supposed to be an advertisement for Carter, Jimmy Carter. And it actually is a smiling peanut. Of course, some people like to, you know, fish with live minnows, but if you're tired of using, losing your live minnow or having to replace it all the time, why not fish a lure that's actually a real live minnow encased in plastic? Or there's many glass ones like this, but here's an example of a plastic one where you can actually put a minnow inside of your plastic case and fish with the same minnow all day and you don't have to keep changing it. Or there's a lot of other unique lures like this one here called the Samson, which is a clear plastic fishing lure. And you can actually hook your minnow on top of it, or you can put a frog on it or a shrimp or whatever you want to fish with. And the last one I'll end up with is another metal fishing lure. This is one that was actually made by a jeweler that had leftover parts from uh, uh, watch cases or, or parts from watches with these little tin cases and they soldered them together and put hooks on them just to make a little extra money and sell fishing lures. For more information, check out www.retiredlures.com.